Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Felix Alvarado stops DJ Creel in the 10th round to retain his IBF light flyweight title. This was a very good performance by Felix Alvarado. He was in control basically throughout this fight. He was in charge, he was landing the punishing punches. And yeah, all in all, this was a bit of a beatdown, I have to say. You know, first four rounds, it looked like DJ Creel was going to get blown out pretty quickly. Um, Felix Alvarado came out in the first round with a lot of pressure, a lot of aggression. He was swinging hard punches. Yeah, he was missing some, but he was also finding the target with great regularity. Creel was, trying, was landing some shots here and there, but they were light punches, kind of shoeshine punches. First round, you know, Alvarado dominated. Second round, more of the same. But in round two, DJ Creel was dropped by a hard left hook. And, um, you know, once again, Felix Alvarado dominates round two. Round three, I felt Alvarado won it. Again, more pressure, more hard punches. But to be fair to, to uh, DJ Creel, he came, out, he came out a lot better in round three. Boxed a little bit better. Started to move a little bit more. He certainly had more success in round three, but, you know, Felix Alvarado, his work was more effective. Round four, DJ Creole dropped once again, once again by a left hook. And, yeah, round four, man, uh, once again, Alvarado comes out applying a lot of pressure, landing hard punches to body and head, you know, really walking down DJ Creel, using his physicality, his size, his power to really hurt the smaller man, DJ Creel. And you could tell in this fight... The size difference played a big factor. DJ Creel just wasn't strong enough to keep Alvarado off of him. And we saw that from very early on in this fight. But to be fair to DJ Creel, after the fourth round, you know, he had a real torrid time. But to be fair to him, in rounds 5, 6 and 7, I felt DJ Creel was actually boxing quite nicely. He may have won a couple of those rounds, to be honest. He was moving a lot more. He was pivoting out, you know, and, not, and, he, and he wasn't letting Alvarado set as much to land those big power shots. The mistake DJ Creel was making early on in this fight, he was trying to exchange with the bigger, stronger man in Felix Alvarado, and he was getting punished for it. He stayed in the, he stayed in the pocket too long, and he took a beating in the first four rounds. Rounds five, six, and seven, I felt DJ Creel did a bit better job using his feet and boxing from range a little bit better. But once again, they were still really hard rounds for DJ Creel. He was still taking a lot of punishment, but he was just doing better in those rounds. But after the seventh round, I felt Alvarado regained control and he basically imposed himself for the rest of his fight. Rounds eight and nine to me were clear Alvarado rounds. You know, just doing the usual thing, applying pressure, working the body, working the head, and really giving DJ Creel a torrid time. And round 10 was where the fight ended. He, uh, DJ Creel actually got hurt uh, at the end of round 9. And yeah, at the start of round 10, Felix Alvarado realised that. He jumped right back on him, landed a series of punches while DJ Creel was against the ropes, and the referee wisely jumps in to stop it. It was a good stoppage by the referee because Creel took a hard right hand and, and Creel took a slight dip of the legs. The referee spotted it and he jumped immediately in. So a good stoppage by the referee and a good performance by Felix Alvarado. He retains his IBF light flyweight title. And, you know, Felix Alvarado, he's certainly a menace at, at light flyweight. I would love to see him fight someone like Carlos Canizales next. I think that would be a great fight. Also, you could have Alvarado fight um, Hiroto Kayaguchi. I think that'd be a great fight for him as well. Ultimately, I want I want to see Al Alvarado try to unify at light flyweight. Uh, but yeah, good performance by Alvarado. Very entertaining performance, very entertaining fight. Credit to DJ Creel, by the way, because he showed a lot of heart. A lot of fighters would have found a way out in that sort of fight because DJ Creel took an absolute pasting, but he kept on coming back, he tried his best, but ultimately it just wasn't enough. Alvarado was too big, too strong, too relentless, and yeah, he won this fight by a 10th round stoppage. So yeah, good performance by Felix Alvarado. Share your thoughts below. Peace.